But the Bible says that once you make him your refuge, your anchor, your fortress, he will save you from the fuller's snare. He will cover you from the deadly pestilence. He will walk with you. He will protect you. You will sing a song even when things do not give you an environment to sing. You shall still declare I am blessed even when everything else looks cast in your life. Even when nobody wants to be associated with you, you shall say, I know the heavenly angels are together with me along this journey. I am not alone. Hallelujah. Even when nobody wants to smile with you, you shall say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Even when they expect you to be crying, they expect you to be mourning, they expect you to be down, you shall still stand and say, I will rejoice. Praise the name of the Lord. When I ask you, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. When I ask you, ask your neighbor, ah, where are you today? Just talk to your neighbor. Ask them, where are you today? I remember there is a time I had a night. Everything else in my life was night, was dark. When I see a praise the name of the Lord. And that particular time, the song that I used to sing every other minute, every other minute, and it's the time of the night. That is the song I was singing at that particular time of the night. When I saw a most of the Christians, when it is dark, when it is at night, what songs do they sing? Praise the name of the Lord. That particular time of the night, my dear sister, my dear brother, that is the time to lift your hand and say, Jehovah, you are still God, you are still on the throne, and I shall rejoice as I praise you. You are, have not changed to be God. You have not yet changed to me. You are still my God. You are still my refuge. You are still my anchor. I shall rejoice. Praise the name of the Lord. A thousand may fall at your side. Many are the people that give up serving in the ministry because some people said, some people talked. A certain committee decided, ask your neighbor, when did you give up serving the Lord? How did you give up serving? Some of us, we knew you. You are so committed in the district. You are so committed in the intercessory. The, the, the PCMF choir has only less than 10 people. Alome, where are you? Hello. When I see you, son, where are you? When I ask you, Sifa. How did you kick off the ministry? How did you give up serving? We knew you in the guild ministry. We knew you in the youth ministry. But simply because one person, tell your neighbor one person, one person, three people, a committee of less than five, decided you gave up serving the Lord. The Bible is not talking of one. The Bible is not talking of a group. It is talking of a thousand. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right side, 
but it says, but it will not come near you. Which means if you gave up because of one person, we know him. Look at that, Kenya Giri. Utaku mekunywa dawa. Hello, are we together, church? Are we together? If you gave up because of a committee of five people, what about when there will be twenty? Tunakuwa tunasema odie na wega kulia joki. Why? Because you can never stomach. Praise the name of the Lord. When I ask you, are you hearing me? Lift up your hand and say a better amen. So stop giving up because of something that the Lord is saying. It is possible. I can protect you. I can walk with you. I can get you through it. And you become an overcomer. Why? I am your anchor. I am your refuge. I am your strength. I am your conqueror. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'll not give up again. I will not be shaken. If you make the most high your dwelling, the Lord your refuge, then no harm will befall you. Praise the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter how much and how they talk. Doesn't matter where they talk. As long as it's my dwelling place, no harm will befall me. But